So what's the zombies movies that you guys are all watching? I have a question for you. And then I am also making my Spanish rice, you guys. Still watching. Oh! So coming up this week too, remember we've got a collab. Did you mention that? Baking soda cream cleaner? Are you kidding? Baking soda cream cleaner? Are you kidding me? So what the- Good morning, fam, bammers. It is Monday. Happy Monday to you all. <clears throat> My voice just cracked. There is Tina getting the lunches ready. So what do you, I think maybe tomorrow we might do kids' lunches. What do you think? Uh, possibly. Possibly. Hey, what are you guys doing? Uh, oh, you you what is it? Um, if you sing, you lose. If you sing, you lose? What is that? Uh, uh, so it's like playing zombie songs. Uh-huh. Like the songs from zombies and we can't sing them. Oh. Do you guys know all these songs? Yeah. I already, no? I already I got two things, which is bad. Because my two favorite songs. Oh. So what's the zombies movies that you guys are all watching? It's awesome. So it's about a cheerleader and a zombie that like each other. Oh, okay. So kind of like and High School like, Musical? And like they're getting separated because people don't really like zombies and like zombies don't really like cheerleaders, so you know. You just need to do your hair, he needs to do the wave. Ooh. Emberlyn needs to do her hair. Elijah needs to do his hair. So my my advice is guess what it's gonna be? Um, watch this and then go. <laughs> yeah, right. Put the electronics down. Whoa. All right, you guys, hey, what is up? So we haven't really picked up the camera today, story of our life. It's been kind of a busy day as usual. I don't know when our life isn't busy, but we just have not had the camera out today. So the kids are literally home from school. I am cooking dinner. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys what we're having and then kind of let you guys know how it tasted because we've actually never had these before. So we're excited to try them. Let me show you real quick. We are making, super easy guys, the taco meat pork carnita. And we were also making, I don't know why I keep saying we, I'm making um, the chicken uh, made with dark chicken meat. So, boom, there's that. We have the tortillas for it to go on. And then I am also making my Spanish rice, you guys. This is literally rice, salsa, um, chicken bouillon, and water. It is so, so, so good. Like, it's a huge hit. It's actually my mother-in-law's recipe and ever since she's given it to me, I use it literally all the time. I feel like I make this rice all the time, but it's so good, the kids love it, and it's super filling. So, anyways, we'll let you guys know how these taco little meats um, turn out. I don't know, I'm gonna try it. These are the ones I believe we got. Did we get these at Winco? I think we got those at Winco, so we're gonna try them out. We'll let you guys know how we like it, and we'll just kind of take you through our evening here at home. We're kind of just hanging out, just doing family stuff tonight, so. All right, you guys, I have a question for you. If you guys know, because I know we have a ton of ladies who watch us. I think like 90% of you guys are women that watch us. So, I want to ask you ladies, is there a foundation that you guys love that does not settle into fine lines or pores? Because I am not finding any foundation that does not settle into and like you know how sometimes when you put on your foundation it just looks like I don't know like it almost makes your skin look worse does that make sense I know you guys know what I'm talking about so if you guys know of a foundation that you love that doesn't do that or a trick or something I've been like watching YouTube videos everywhere because it's bugging me so let me know down below you guys if you have any advice any tricks tips anything like that let me know. I would love to hear what you guys use, what works for you. Um, I've heard like powders really seep into like fine lines and wrinkles, things like that. I don't know, maybe it's just inevitable. I'm just getting older, my face is changing, I'm getting brown spots, I'm getting wrinkles. Um, but let me know, any advice, anything you guys use that you love. Also, one more thing, you guys. Make sure you guys are following us on Instagram because tomorrow I'm gonna post in our stories um, my reviews of the products, the facial products and like shampoos and things that I got from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna let you guys know how I like them. So go head over, follow us on Instagram and then tomorrow in the stories I will have those posted up and I will also post it to our highlights. So 
Go follow us there so that you guys can see um, my review on those products. Lijee you Benaj, what are you doing, dude? I'm just watching this, waiting for you to check my chores. Okay, so you know what's so funny and something I heard just the other day? What? So when I was a kid, we would always complain about how small our TVs were in our room, right? Mm -hmm. Like they were so small and we always wanted bigger TVs, right? Yeah. And now literally this generation watches TV on that little tiny screen. <laughs> And you guys couldn't be TVs. more content. There's that big TV up there, yet you choose to watch it on your small little screen. Uh, because Why is that? I don't know. It's just because <laughs> I like my phone, I guess. Oh, all right. I like your shirt, dude. That sloth is so cool. What'd you do? Drool on it? Wait, what? <laughs> There's some drool on your shirt. You tell everyone how you just uh, hit your funny bone? Oh, yeah. It wasn't so funny, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that hurts. Yeah. yeah. Ashlyn, how are you doing, girl? Good. Yeah, how was school today? Good. You like your teacher? No. No? She's not very nice, is she? No. Kind of mean, very strict. Uh. No. <laughs> yes or no? Uh. Okay. Jasper, what are you doing? Oh, Betty got jealous. That was so fast. Come here, Jasper. I know, you're jealous too, Benny. It's okay, it's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I know you guys get so jealous. You're like little kids. You're like little kids. Yes, you are. Oh, <laughs> don't lick me. Ew. Don't lick me. I still love you, but don't lick me. All right, you guys. So this is how this comes. I'm literally going to just stick it in the microwave. It says don't even vent it. Don't even do anything. Don't poke holes in it. It's all ready to go. So I'm going to put it in the microwave for three minutes or until hot. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes out. It kind of looks like a big old blob right now, but we're gonna check it out. All right, you guys, the rice is pretty much done. I wish you guys could smell this right now. It is so, so good and so, so easy. Look at this. Oh my mama. Are you kidding me right now? Who's drooling? Hashtag drooling. I'm drooling. Check that out. And I love it with like either, um, a little bit of sour cream on it, or you could even do like salsa verde. It's really good on it too. So really, really yummy, you guys. I do believe we have a video. I'll have Danny link it um, on how to make it, but you guys, super, super easy and delish. I just pulled it out of the microwave. This stuff shreds up so easily. It's like awesome and it smells so good. So this is the bee or the pork. And then this is the chicken, so check this out. These little things that you take off make it so easy. It's like no mess, no hassle. Well, with one hand it's kind of a hassle, but you literally just pull this tab and uh, rip it off. It's pretty easy, mess free. All right, you guys, there is pork, chicken. It comes in these little containers, so we'll let you guys know how far this meat goes for our family of seven. Um, I'll definitely let you know, but I just had a little taste of the chicken and it is delish. So I'm gonna heat up these tortillas, tortinas, and then we'll be ready to go. We're gonna have this, oh, busted, totally busted. Mm, that is good. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. It's got a, a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna just heat these up, and then the rice is done already. The meat is done. Wait for the tortillas, and then we are gonna eat. We're gonna grub down. All right, Ethan's setting the table for us. Helping mom out, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need one more plate, dude. Yep, that's what I'm gonna run that. Awesome, you're the man. You're the man. Flip that tortilla over. That's right, how many of you guys do this straight on your burner? That's how I do it. That's how my dad did it, so I just do it how he did it. Ethan also ha is planning our family lesson tonight, huh? Yep. Any hints on what it, what it is? What's the topic? Count your blessings. Count your blessings? Yep. I'm excited, it's gonna be awesome. Mm-hmm, I agree. Yeah, should I just follow you around everywhere? <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. You start shaking your booty? Oh! Oh, you got tricks, boy. Oh. Oh, oh, party foul, party foul. Whoa, whoa. You're the man, dude, high five. Watch this. High five. Oh. Watch this. Okay, I'm watching. Oh. Oh. Oh, still watching. Oh, nice, okay, one more. Oh. Oh, that's okay, we'll edit all this out, don't worry. Yeah! Oh, first try! Yeah. <laughs> all 
All right, you guys, so Danny and I are still drinking these four purpose energies. I seriously am like loving it because a huge reason why I'm loving it right now, honestly, is because I don't want my tortillas to burn. Um, I don't feel inflamed when I drink them. So like when I was drinking other energy drinks, I was totally feeling like inflamed. Um, so I can just tell that it's just like a healthier energy drink. It's more natural. And I know that some of you guys have ordered some. So I totally wanna know what you guys think down below of this four purpose energy. So let me tell you guys, when you guys are buying these, you are directly supporting their mission of providing education to children all over the world, which I think is just absolutely amazing. We will put up a little thing, um, or I'll have Danny do it, put up a little thing to show how much money they have already raised to go towards um, helping kids better their education. It's Pretty awesome. I love that there's a purpose behind it, and I love even more that I just I just love the taste of it. I love how it makes me feel. I don't get jittery. I, with this, I don't. I can have one, two, sometimes even three a day, and I don't feel that crazy crash or feel like that inf inflammation that I would get with the other ones. So I am loving it, you guys. Like I said before, if you guys have ordered this, if you have tried it, let us know how you like it. I'm super curious. I it is a um. It is a raspberry pomegranate flavor, Ooh, and it is one? so good. Um, yeah, like I said, let me know down below. If you guys have tried it, I would love to hear what you guys think about it. We'll leave a link too. If you guys are interested in purchasing any, um, we'll leave a link down below. All right, dinner set, ready to eat. You starving, dude? Oh yeah. Thanks and for setting the table, man. Oh yeah. You're the bomb. You just put the rice. I just put the food on, but hey, that looks pretty good. Gonna eat. Hey guys, let me know. What should I put on this wall? It is so empty, and what? every time I watch the vlog and I see this wall, it bugs me so bad. Well, I don't know what we're gonna do. What? Remember our lesson night? We can put the 25 people over there. Yeah, we could do that, but we gotta do something like. 25 people over there. No, like something decorative. We can maybe do something like that, but make it like in a craft. Decorative. So, and then this, I hate these blinds, guys. So. Give me ideas of curtains. I'm probably actually, never mind. I will probably just do curtains like those over there so they match. But we've got to take this down. It's like, it's seen better days. I think I can see four of the blinds already. Yeah, off. those things don't last. I don't care who you are. These things fall off no matter what. Right, what Ethan? What are they even used for? No They're blinds, you silly goose. I know, but like for what? So no one can see in? I can see it. Well, now because four fell off. <laughs> no, uh, no, even without, we can see the little cracks. You can still see. Well, you 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 can adjust those though. How's school today, by the way? Good. Yeah, you loved every second of it. Except for math, it got boring. What? I love math. It's you're the math man. It got boring because we you're too just, smart for it. We were just cutting and gluing a bunch of things. Oh, you were. Yeah. That and sounds then, fun. And then writing was fun. We read and did research on our. Okay, so who's, and, and your, who's your person? Who's your person? Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. So, so what is he famous for? Um, for playing the trumpet. The king of jazz. He's the king of jazz? Yeah. Louis Armstrong is? Yes! Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> what else can you tell me about him? Um, he was sent to reform school when he was 12. So he's a famous jazz player? Yes. Have you heard any of his music? Only one song. What? Not the whole song. It How does it go? Wonderful. World. Did you like it? it Alright, yeah. We should look up some of the music so you can like it's my books at school. Uh, all the songs. Well we can just type them in So tell everyone what it is, like the wax museum. Okay. What exactly so is basically it? Basically we're gonna like we all pick a famous person who impacted America and then we like do research questions on them and we write like an essay about the person and then in April this year, we're gonna be doing like, we're gonna all like dress up as our characters and then we're gonna, it's like a wax museum, we're just gonna stay still and then we're gonna have like buttons, like where like the whole school comes around and presses the button and then you like talk about your character. And say, so like, you're oh, gonna, stuff. so you're yeah. kind of like a, you're a wax figure of this yeah. guy mm -hmm. and so they press the button and, and you say, off. so if they was like, what do you do for a living? No. No, what? What would so one they of the press the button and then we just like tell them about us. Okay, so say I press the button. Press. I haven't practiced that yet. Oh. <laughs> all right, we'll have to show everybody once you oh, have it all done. You know my Stacey Capitals test? What? It's so, I got 100 out of 100. Wait, you didn't even tell me this yet. I just got it today.
this. Whoa, dude! Uh oh. I had spelling errors. Oh. Count for the great, it counted for the Great American Challenge. Okay. But I can always do that in IA. And I missed. I just need to fix four spelling errors. That's I it? Out of all 50 states and capitals? Uh huh? That is amazing. Did you I, hear what he got on his test? 100 out of 100. What? Did you get capitals. extra? You didn't miss any? No, but spelling errors. For the, for the get, she didn't count it for an actual grade, so like in the grade book, it's gonna be 100 out of 100, it's gonna race my grade so much. Wow. And I think that's gonna bring my grade up there, like to A, like. Awesome. Dude, man. you killed it. You worked hard for that grade, yeah. man. You studied your but butt the thing off. The is, I had seven spelling errors. That's all right. That's, That's all right. right. But I only need to fix four more. Honestly, I would probably have more than seven spelling errors. People had like 16 to 18. <laughs> M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-B-B-I. Oh, wrong. <laughs> Too I, many peepees. I missed, <laughs> I, I missed uh, Connecticut. Um, Connecticut, spell it. And Dad will tell you if you got it right or not. C-O-N-E-T. Oh, C-O-N. Think connect. of connect. Oh, connect. Okay, C O N. N E C T uh you no nope. connect yeah. like connect okay. and then C O N E C T I Don't worry, we'll edit this out. Connect Okay. okay. C O N N E C T I C O N N E C T I C T. Yes. Whoa, first try. Good job. <laughs> You guys ready to eat? I know Danny's starving. Oh. Yes, I, and I'm lagging. Like it's been a busy day, so yes. I'm still Finishing editing the video. It's gonna be a late up. Oh, uh, so go so, watch it, you guys. Kids in the sorry. Kitchen is up right now. So sorry, yesterday's video went up late, you guys. But just that's just how it is. That's just life sometimes. Danny's killing it. Danny's killing life. All right, here we go. We're gonna eat. We're gonna try these out. We'll let you guys know how this tastes. Ooh, I'm it's Winco, right? We got those from Winco. Yeah, we did. I'm okay. Try them out. Wait, guys. Just to make sure. Did what? Tonight we're going to play sardines and we might record it. We are. That's true. Hey, fam bammers. We are here just trying to distribute the food. This seems to be a challenge almost every time we eat because we've got to make sure everyone's got decent portions to start out with. Can someone hand me the Both. This looks good. Elijah's getting his crunch. Awesome. So if you haven't noticed already, that chair that Ethan's sitting on, it's a little bit bigger. It's one of the bar chair, bar stools because the other chair broke. It's like, so yeah. Ethan is the king of the table tonight. So do you guys have kids who lean back and rock on your, your chairs and then the legs <laughs> after a while start to get wobbly and then they break? Who broke That's it? exactly yeah. what happens. I think I and so I'm curious to know, comment down below, let us know. When you distribute the food, do you give it to like the youngest, youngest to oldest? Is there an order closest to you? Do the parents get the food first? Girls first. Girls first. Comment down below. Let us know what you do. How are you doing it? Oh, you know, just random. I do try to do the girls first, but sometimes I'm just like, let's do it. Whoever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And the olders can really scoop for themselves, but I just am like portion control. And but when we go out to a restaurant, we always let the ladies order first, always. All right guys, this is what our table looks like after dinner. Boom, boom. Okay, oh, so check this out. This is how much meat was left. So we've got, it was actually really good. Did you like it? Uh, yes, I, I have, this is my third, you guys. Danny's on his third, I think. Brayden, how many did you have? One. Brayden had one, I had one, everyone had one, and there's still all this meat left over. So it literally fed our whole family but I would say pair it with some rice to help it be more filling. Go no. ahead, chew no. it, chew it, chew it. <laughs> so really good guys, I'm actually kind of impressed. You see this right here? Emberlyn and I went around and filled everybody's, everyone's cups with the almond breeze milk <laughs> and Ethan's the only one who drinks it. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll pour it back in so he can have it later. <laughs> so I gotta clean up dinner and then we have family home evening trying to get my energy boost for the night. Yeah, because <laughs> you, you still got lots to do tonight. Oh my goodness. You guys, I literally love these four purpose energy I was just they're telling so them good. that. They're so good. Uh, they're so good. And lightweight, like honestly, lightweight. Yeah. I love them. So coming up this week too, remember we've got a collab. Did you mention that? 
I haven't mentioned that yet. We've got an awesome collab, you guys, and it's with a, a uh, not a new channel, but a new a new collab with us. Yes, that we've never done before, and we love her. Mm -hmm. Like she is, just, and you guys are going to love her. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you know know her channel already, and for those of you who don't, we know you will like her. Yeah. Because keep in mind, like we've mentioned before, when we do collabs, we try to do collabs with with channels that not only that we like, but channels that we know our you guys, our fan bammers, will enjoy. Yes. So it's it's exciting. It's coming up the Thursday. Thursday. Actually. Yep. Thursday's video will be our collab video with Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Too bad I don't have my computer. The, you guys, I'm editing on Movie oh, Maker. I like know. my Mac totally dumped. Which yeah. So I'm trying to get an, um, a save up a little for a MacBook Pro just because there's iMovie on there. That's what I edited on, and so I can't do all the little things. And I want to get Final Cut Pro, but I can't do it on a PC. I have Movie Maker and it's the basic of basics, you guys. Yeah. So I'm doing my best. Yeah. Uh, so when she said dun dun dun, in my head I'm editing, I'm editing, I'm, I'm thinking like on iMovie or Final Cut, I can go bum bum bum, <laughs> go closer, but on uh, Movie Maker, I can't. Can't do anything. Nothing. So annoying. We'll get one. What is it, a Mac Pro? Yeah, a Mac, oh yeah, a MacBook Pro. A MacBook Pro. So they're supposed to be cheaper though than the actual Mac, right? Well, because I can connect it to my my big computer, my big screen. Oh, so it's so the then same. I just put it right next to it and I have the big screen instead of having to buy the whole Mac. Yeah. So. Ah, oh, first world problems. <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready for family home evening. Ethan's going to be teaching the lesson, but before we get into it, Ethan is on Fortnite. What are you? What are you right now? Number thirty-five. Yeah, but I'm, I'm too best. Oh, so he's number thirty-five. Get him! Get him! Get him. So we'll oh, see. Oh, get him! Oh. Oh, so what's the what's the subject? Count your blessings. Count your blessings. Awesome. Um, Elijah, would you like to start off with the opening prayer? Yes. Elijah, starting with the opening prayer. Yep. Boom. So right now, Ethan's having us list as a family 25 things that we're, great, that we're grateful for. Comment down below five things that you are grateful for. I need a Help me find the way. Teach me all that I must do. Just got done with an awesome lesson that Ethan gave. We've got our list. This is our list. I don't know if you can see that very well. We've got our list of things that we are so grateful for. If you guys want, make your list of five things, 10 things, however many you want, and then take a picture of it, send it to our Instagram, and I will put it up on our Instagram stories. I would love to see that positive energy. All right, so Danny and I now are going to hide. We're playing sardines. So Danny and I are, are first to hide. And so the, w once the kids find, it, find us, they have to hide with us. So we're doing that right now. All right, here we go. Hello. 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 Hi guys! Hello! <laughs> That's it? That's everyone! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Okay, my turn, my oh. turn. I want to do it. Okay, Ash okay. and M's. Okay. Ash and M's! sardines works is whoever whenever you find them so we're looking for Ashlyn and Everlyn right now if I find them I have to jump in with them and hide with them and the last one who finds us is it
<laughs> All right, it's 9.30. The boss has sent us out for ice cream. Here we go. A little late night snack. Ashlyn and I are gonna go pick up some ice cream for Tina. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a snack. Are you gonna get some ice cream? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I might when I get vanilla ice cream and cookie dough. So this is one for all the man crew. I got here, I came here to get some ice cream and I just got a text to get razors, to get dishwashing soap, to get cleaning spray, to get, what else? I think that's it. So let's see if anything else gets added before I leave here. Comment down below, man crew, if this happens to you. You go shopping to pick up a couple things and all of a sudden you get a text with a full extension to the list. Bam, check this out, we just scored. We've got Mrs. Meyers cleaners here at Bonds, our local grocery store. Bam. All right, my hand basket is full, so we're gonna head home right now, and then we're gonna show you guys what we got, but this thing is full. Ugh. All right, so we're home, and... It's 10.30 at night. Yes, and Tina, as I said in the store, Tina added to the list. I did. But we I also got... Home some... with a lot more than I had suggested they get. Yeah, so she's gonna show you guys, and she doesn't know everything that's in here. No, it's a surprise, all right. Obviously, first, my ice cream. This will last like two days. Maybe, two. maybe half a day. No, this will last like maybe three days because the kids will like. Oh. They take oh. after me with the ice cream, though. They do. I you do know they do. do. And, and Ashlyn has a lot of the kids. They love. We love our ice cream in this house. So, all right. <laughs> Oh man, I am so excited about this. Lavender Mrs. Myers. You guys, this is a product that we have just started using. Oh, that one's dang. good. Oh, it makes me want to go to sleep. Uh, I'm serious. That's like perfect for the bedroom. That's not perfect for yeah. cleaning, though. Yeah, cleaning the bedroom. <laughs> it's gonna make me want to sleep while I'm cleaning. Oh, guys, that's legit. That smells yum. Oh, I'm excited to use these. We've been using the basil. And it's been Basil's amazing. Ball. So, yeah. so good. All right, and then we got, ooh, tub and tile. Are yes. you saying I need to clean the bathrooms? Well, what I'm actually. No, you told me I, yesterday. Yeah. Today I have to do it tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm actually going to be respraying the shower pan. Oh, this is yum too. Lemon, ver, what is it, verbena? Ver, verbena? I yes. don't know. Yes. For tub and tile. Yes. Yay. Okay, so this all came from Vons. We did not even know Vons had these. Uh -uh. So I literally bought everything they had. So, did you? Everything, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is just a multi-cleaner? Yes. But the lemon scent, oh you guys. This smells so good, I just got it all over my nose. There you go. Baking soda cream cleaner? Are you kidding me? So what that is, I think, is that one, is I, I think it's for like harder cleaning areas, like, hard to clean areas where you have to let it soil in. Kind of like you would use like Comet or Ajax. Oh yeah. And then you let it soil in and you can scrub with it. So that's a hard working one, which you're not gonna use oh, huge amounts. No, so this one will probably last a while. Yeah, so I think those are good for like your showers, your tubs, your sinks, things also, like that. so exciting. You know what we can do that for? Oh, that is thick. We can maybe use that for the stove. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, you don't want to scratch it, so you have to see if make sure it's not abrasive. Yeah. This. Yeah. Scratch free. Then there you go. Yeah. Scratch free cleans and polishes baking soda cream cleanser in the lemon. The lemon smells so good. Yes. And the lavender. So, yay! It's like Christmas for me right now. This is awesome. All right, we've got some razors. We needed these. All of ours are dull, and we all know, women out there, you all know. Men's razors are the best razors. Yeah. Woman, like, someone needs to invent women's razors that are just like Just men's, but just color, yeah, yeah, that's it. Let's do that. Serious. Let's start another business. All right, Fam <laughs> Bam Razors. Yeah, and then we got dish powder packs, which we, need, we, we needed, we were out of. 
So I think those are just like the generic brand. I yeah. don't know. I just went for the just trying to stay cheap. Yeah. And then oh, we just got toilet bowl cleaner. Yeah, but you know what? On, Myers. But so honestly, I'm some toilet big. bowl cleaners with bleach give me a big time. Headache. Oh, I agree. They totally do, and yeah. especially in our smaller bathroom oh. that has like no like. Yeah, like I get big time headaches. Oh, this is exciting. Like this makes me excited to clean the bathroom. Should I do a speed clean tomorrow? Of the Ooh, bathroom, so I can do that. that would be awesome. Oh, you. I don't know what it is about new cleaners. It makes you excited to clean. Crazy. All right, and then we got some disgusting milk. So that's fun. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I guess for the kids' cereal, whatever. Yeah. And then, one thing. Oh, sorry. Cookie oh. dough. We also got cookie dough. Oh, we got cookie dough because Ash is gonna make a pazuki tonight. Right oh. now. Oh snap. The oven's going. Oh, oh. she loves her pazuki. Oh, and then are oh. you putting cookies and cream mm -hmm. on top? Because you're not having it in mom. <laughs> That's why we got it. We know. I know. Cookies and cream is bomb. All right, you guys. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us today. It was a lot of fun. We had some good, some good quality family time today, which uh, is always needed. That's why we love Mondays, family home evening. We designate the time for each other and gets us ready for tomorrow. Soccer. And honestly, kid, like Say it again. Danny, and honestly, Danny and I were just talking today, like the kids, they like simple. Like mm -hmm. you don't have to go all crazy and do all these crazy things. It's those things are fun sometimes, you yeah. know, but playing sardines tonight, like, and then having like going to bed with the boys, Elijah was literally like, mom, that was so much fun. That's awesome. That was like, and it's literally fun. like, yeah. what is that? I mean, we're hiding from each other. We did four rounds. Yeah. So it just makes my heart happy that like, it's little things that I think, I think we should do happy. a bit. And I think we should do an awesome game of upstairs and downstairs next time. Yeah. That'd be ball. That would be and awesome. Also, be ball. North War. And I'm oh. gonna say Brayden had a good time, even though he may not admit it. No, he I did. Said, I'll admit yeah, it. At the beginning, I'm just like, oh, like I, I was like fine with playing it, but I'm just like whatever. When I did, I'm like, oh, let's do another round. That was yeah, bad. that was fun. So, and that's sometimes that's how it is. Sometimes your mood is just kind of like, eh, I don't want to do that. And it's like you have to force yourself to do these things to realize like. Oh, it was that fun. was actually that was, really fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, it was a good night. All right, you guys. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Just kind of us hanging out, having a good time. Um, don't forget, you guys, Instagram. Send me your list of things that you're grateful for. I want to see it. I just think that would be some awesome positive energy going around. I will post it in our Insta stories if you send it to us. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Will I cry? Will I leave behind broken and crumbled signs? Hiding all my roads to you. Uh oh. And if I find